What's up, people? Welcome back. This is going to be a quick look at PC Linux OS. This is the this is the KDE version of their um, operating systems that they offer. I'll have links below in the show notes if you want to take a look at this. Been running this inside a virtual box less than a week ago, and I must say uh, I am very very impressed. This is a rolling release. Usually, rolling releases don't impress me. They don't they don't quite uh, appear to be quite as polished as stable as say an LTS release certainly not usually recommended for beginners uh, but I think I can probably recommend that you at least take a look at this uh, rolling releases you don't have to always reinstall the operating system as you would say with an LTS release now the positive an LTS release is that they're usually more stable polished and less bug free but running this in a virtual box box less than a week and they recommend you have uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM uh, to run this comfortably. I have about 1.5 gigabytes allotted. It's really not too bad. Uh, here, here you see some wallpaper. And I will not have time to look at the entire uh, KDE version of this um, desktop. But I will say I'm impressed. This runs stable. It runs smooth. It's highly customizable. And I made the panel bar here super huge. But basically here I just right click panel bar options panel settings and we can bring this back down the size here like that or any size you want really so yeah that looks good now with KDE again highly customizable you can change how this launcher looks here this is the uh, start button start menu however you would like to call it you have a list there or a right click go to application launcher settings and you can go to the, I believe this is called the kickoff launcher, as you see here, with a nice little search bar there, as you would have in Windows 7. So maybe you're not too thrilled with what you see lately with Windows 8 and wanted to try something different. I would definitely uh, take a look at this. Very polished so far. This is just a widget here. To add widgets, you can just right click or left click here, click add widgets and you can add anything you want. I had the clock up there and that's how you do it. You can change the size of this and move it around. Okay, two things before I go. Updating this, you have this is a rolling release, so you have to read the documentation. If you don't, it's probably going to crash. So now how that works, they recommend you use the Synaptic Package Manager. Now there is a shortcut here. Type in your password. This is where you you will perform all your updates, installs, uninstalls. It's not it's not that difficult. It may not be beginner friendly starting off, but once you you know learn how to do this, you will get the hang of this. At least I did. But this is where you will do your searching for software packages and doing the upgrades. And you have to read the documentation. And really, with all, if you are coming from a Windows PC environment, you should read all Linux documentation to find out what the heck is going on. And the one last thing, if you haven't already, please vote for the best uh, Linux operating system for uh, Windows users. Uh, I did put a spot for PC Linux OS KDE and I will have a link below in the show notes. Just go to the Total OS Today uh, shop website and here to the right it says here, best Linux OS for Windows users. Your choices are Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorin, Linux Lite, PC Linux OS, KDE, or other. There are 11 days left to vote. So why don't you help out those Windows users and give your recommendation for the best Linux distribution for a Windows PC user. All right, well, my throat is very dry. I need to get some water. Very cold here in the Midwest. So thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.